Welcome to quarterfinal highlights from the Torre Pan Pacific Open in Tokyo. Estonia's Kaya Kanepi strode back onto court a day after upsetting Jelena Jankovic to challenge the French Open champion Francesca Schiavoni. The Italian won two of their three previous matches, all of which were decided in straight sets. But from the start of this one, it looked like they would go the distance, with both players struggling to hold serve. Having fallen behind early in the first set, Schiavoni, who'd never won successive matches here before in three visits, broke back in a long seventh game. And it's four breaks in a row. And four games later, she put herself in a position to serve for the first set. Well, well played, Schiavoni. Pinch it she did when Kanepi failed to return this serve. Somewhat surprisingly, the first five games of the second set went with serve before Canepi hit with sufficient depth and weight of shot to force another break of the Italian serve and lead 4-2. But the Estonian, who won her first career title earlier this season in Palermo, failed to serve out the set, leading 5-3. And it wasn't until the next game that she managed to take it. And eventually she takes a set point. And we are into a decider for the first time. A match between these two goes into three sets. That was the eighth break of the match. But in a topsy-turvy decider, a further seven followed. Schiavoni producing some of her best play for this one. Lovely play from Schiavoni, and she breaks at the third time of asking. But the Italian then faltered when serving for the match at 5-4. Yet great competitor that she is, and attempting to reach her fourth semi-final of the year, Schiavoni found a way to break again in the next game, and after three hours and nine minutes, finally triumphed 7-5, 4-6, 7-5. Great friends of court, Agnieszka Radvanska and Caroline Wozniacki, then squared up for the fourth time in their careers. Wozniacki had won the last two meetings, including a semi-final this year in Indian Wells, and it wasn't long before the top seed broke clear in Tokyo. The Danes' much improved game this season continued to make inroads against Radvanska's serve, with a second successive break following minutes later. when the Pole, who made last year's semi-finals, called for the trainer trailing five love, it soon became apparent that she was in some distress and couldn't continue. Wozniacki was quick to console her buddy, who was forced to retire with a foot injury. Having dropped only seven games so far, the Dane now advances to face Victoria Azarenka of Belarus in her first Tokyo semi-final. Yelena Dementieva, who was champion four years ago and a semi-finalist in 2007, then took on fellow Russian and second seed Vera Zvonareva in the last quarter-final. Dementieva leads their rivalry, but Zvonareva won their last encounter. And when she broke for the second time to lead 5-3 in this one, the Wimbledon and US Open runner-up looked well-placed to win again. But Dementieva had other ideas and turned the match right around, breaking back when Zvonareva appealed in vain to the official review system and then breaking again to lead 6-5 before serving out the set. Oh yeah, what a classy way to bring up the set. Elena Dementieva rushes number two. It was an emphatic change in momentum which Dementieva underlined by winning the first three games of the second set as well. It is a double break. And although Zvonareva twice pulled one of the breaks back, she kept failing to hold her own serve as Dementieva pummeled her returns. And so, after an hour and 41 minutes, the seventh seed clinched victory for a semi-final showdown with Francesca Schiavoni.